Hello, Taurus. Rambling Mike here. Gonna play a little tarot with you today. Thanks for tuning in one more time. I, I appreciate your time. Appreciate you uh, hitting that like button while you're thinking about it. Appreciate you hitting that subscription button if you haven't done that yet. And thank you to all of you that have. Appreciate it all. Always, you know, a little gratitude before I get into the reading right here. I always want to say thanks for all the donations that you, Taurus. I mean, you guys are quite the givers. You're Venus. I appreciate them all. All the donations. Large or small. Taurus, if you've blessed me with a donation, thank you. Big shout out to all my Taurus friends that have reached out for private readings with me. You guys keep me very busy. Thank you very much for all of that. Um, the best way to get a reading with me is to join with uh, all my friends that have uh, joined up with Ramblin' Nation. Find that join button wherever it is. Sometimes it's on the handheld. Sometimes it's on your computer or your laptop. YouTube promises me they're trying to put it up on everybody's machinery. I'm sure that they are. Find that button, hit that join button right there, and then send me a text. Mike, I'm a member of Ramblin' Nation. I would like a reading with you, and I will absolutely put you on my list, top of the list, and uh, you cut right to the front of the line, and I will absolutely contact you about a reading uh, with you. Um, also, I mean, another perk is that uh, my members of Ramblin' Nation, they get to see these videos uh, for the most part before anybody else. Uh, a lot of people get a little nervous about that. What, well, Mike, you have to pay for your videos? No, only if you want to see them in advance. I release my stuff on Sundays, and then I all 12 of my Zodiacs on the first of the month, uh, that Sunday around there, and then I have a Sunday fun day. Then uh, mid-month, I release all 12 Zodiac signs around the middle of the month on that Sunday. But if you want to see the videos before the Sunday, uh, hit that join button right there. And uh, <clears throat> got some friends that have uh, hit that join button that have YouTube channels. I figure if they support me. I'll support them. First one that I want to shout out is Fire Sign Tarot with Faith. I love your channel, Faith. Um, more, please. Really good. Um, very entertaining, enlightening, um, encouraging readings. Thank you very much for it. Second one that I want to shout out is a new friend of mine, Cosmic Hayes Tarot. I love you. I believe she's in London town. Uh, fun, exciting passionate reader, uh, Cosmic Haze Tarot, and the third one that I want to shout out is Aquarius Rising Tarot, uh, another uh, fun reading. She's been putting out more stuff lately. Uh, all three of these are relatively new members with Ramblin' Nation. Um, if you're looking around and you want to look at somebody, check these ones out right here. Fire Sign Tarot, Cosmic Haze Tarot, and Aquarius Rising Tarot. Now, if you would like me to shout out your channel, again, find that join button. Hit that join button. Send me a text. Mike, I have a YouTube channel. I'd like you to give me a holler. And uh, let me know what it is. I'm going to go over there and look at it. And uh, be shouting you out. All right. Last thing I want to say is that my next Sunday fun day is going to be on a Sunday, April 5th. 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Taurus, I hope you can be there. Ain't the same unless my Venus peeps are in the house. My empresses, be a male or female. April 5th. All right, let's play some cards. This reading will be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I'm going to take a little look-see at love right here. And, uh, you know, that's my disclaimer. I'm telling a story. You tell me in the comments if you see yourself in the story right here. You tell me in the comments if you see your friend in the story right here. You tell me in the comments if you've seen an old friend that you don't want to see in this story right here. <clears throat> and how you told him to kick rocks. You tell me in the comments, huh, about this story right here. I uh, hope you got yourself a cup of coffee or a little uh, cup of tea, maybe a glass of wine, because we're going to be here for a minute, because I'm going to give you a full spread 
Uh, complete Celtic Cross with the Terra Illuminati. Uh, throw out an entire spread on top of that with the Witch's Tarot. Definitely a handful of the amazing Mystic Moon Oracle. Handful of the Romance Angels. And definitely two or three of the Major Arcana that I pulled out from the David Bowie Starman Tarot here. So. Let me shuffle this just for a minute. Okay. Here we go. Let's go with this right here, Taurus. And tune in. Hey, Tarot, I love team. Taurus is here to play with us. Let's tell them what they need to know most for their highest good. I want to thank you for clarity, accuracy on my part. Help me see, help me speak what I need. Help Taurus see and hear what they need out of this reading today. Let's take all these amazing pictures, put together a nice, clear, accurate story for Taurus' highest good. Thank you so very much for that love, team. I cannot do this without you. Appreciate you, my guides. Take that big breath, huh, Taurus? Here we go, cutting the deck. Let's see what the cards have to say. First card out is the tower. Lord have mercy, huh? You know, the tower is definitely a card of contrast. There may have been a situation that fell apart for many of my Taurus. You know, it shows the two lovers falling from the tower, but it also shows the lightning bolt that comes from source striking the tower. The tower is basically about sudden change, change that happens suddenly. And the power of the tower is using it as a springboard because the tower levels the playing field. It shows us what we don't want so that we can set our intentions on what we do want and use that springboard to spring into a new direction. Let's see what crosses over the tower right here. Well, the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands. This is a, a story about some separation between some lovers right here. Huh? The old Four of Wanders. Uh, you see them right there. They're dancing, celebrating life. You know. The garlands over their head. The Four of Wands of Passion around them. It's the old 1111 card. How many of you know that... Uh, being on those old 11-11 journeys, separation is always part of that game. It's really when the work is really done on the inside of us. Go down and uh, do the work on the inside of us. We got a four of wands and a tower right here in the middle of my spread. It could be talking about coming out of that tower and union coming together here. It's an interesting opening in the Celtic cross. Here we go. I'm excited to see what comes. Base of the spread, a major arcana, the emperor showing up right here with four of wands, four of wands and the tower, huh? Sacred masculine energy. It's also Aries seated in his power. Our old emperor right there. Oh, Mr. or Mrs. Stubborn. You don't have to be uh, male to be masculine energy in a four of wands union. Hmm. You can be a female earth suit and have sacred masculine energy. But we have our emperor at the base of the spread, you know, and uh, the, the emperor can generally be pretty stubborn. Hmm. Entrepreneur energy, all that. They got their eye on their world more than, you know, the four of wands. So. Let's see where it goes. <clears throat> well, there's our Queen of Swords, huh? <laughs> Queen of Swords showing up in the recent past. Maybe, maybe the Emperor reached out. I don't know. There's definitely a fallout between some divines right here. The Emperor, you know, turning his back to the Ice Queen. The Ice Queen has her sword raised up. You know, she may seem cold and detached on the outside, but inside she's ooey gooey, soft and chewy, full of agape love, huh? Ain't that right, Taurus? She's got some butterflies flying around her. There's one, there's one up there in her hand. Uh, that's because, well, there's transformation that's about to come forward for her ice queen. Because her ice queen, I mean, she knows how to be alone. She can be alone. She can be quite successful being alone. Um, 
but she truly desires her soulmate. Here we go. Crown in the spread. Wow. Wow. The Empress has showed up. There we go. Sacred feminine energy. It's pretty clear to me. Doesn't get much more clear than this. You know, and the Empress, she knows her worth. Okay? She's seated on the throne. She doesn't get up off of her throne and chase anybody or anything. She uses law of attraction to attract to her love and abundance of the highest degree. These are spiritual journeys. These people are major spiritual catalysts in your life to propel you into a whole new world of spirituality, showing you what you don't want so that you can set your intentions and manifest what you do want on purpose, becoming, well, what we would call a deliberate creator, not just banging around like a pinball in a pinball machine. We see our Empress right here seated on her throne, and, and I just want to point out even the tarot knows, you know, that the Emperor likes to think that they run the Empire. But the truth of the matter is we all know that the Empress runs the Empire. And, and the Tarot knows that as well, at least with the Tarot Illuminati, because there's the Emperor right there. He cannot take his eyes off of the Empress, who knows her worth. And these journeys are all about self-worth, are they not? For both sides. Here we go. Let's see what we got coming out. Well, we got a communication card. Showing up, my Princess of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Somebody's going to be talking right here. My guess is the old emperor down there looking at their world because the sun ain't shining all that brightly in that picture at the base of the spread. You know, neither one of these people like the separation. Princess of Pentacles is a communication card. It's a communication card in the 3D. Telephone calls, face-to-face -face meets, maybe FaceTime, huh? Yeah, communication, hey, 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 you know, and I got my Queen of Swords over here. <laughs> could it be, could it be the Empress right here? Could it be? You know, easy, easy, you know. Got somebody tippy-toeing in right here. Tippy-toeing in. Hey, uh, I'd like to talk with you. I, I know where this wheat comes from in my hand right here. Oh, it comes from these fields of wheat behind the empress. Because she's all about new beginnings and abundance and new beginnings in love. Crowns of spread. You know, maybe the emperor, I don't know, they're business people, and we know that a lot of business has taken it pretty hard lately. Huh? They may want to talk about something. They do have a coin in their hand. One thing's for sure when this card comes up, it always talks about communication. Hey, maybe we can come out of these red flowers, these challenging times between both of us. Maybe we can walk past this uh, Japanese cherry blossom of good luck and good fortune. Maybe we can have a new day that's beginning to dawn with us. Maybe we can talk. Not everybody's on lockdown. Maybe we can have a cup of coffee. Princess of Pentacles coming in in the immediate future. Wow. Ten of Swords. Uh, Taurus would see the situation. Owie. Ten Swords in the back. No wonder... No wonder the Ice Queen's here, huh? But Ten of Swords is about a completion of a painful cycle. It means that the worst is over. Especially if you want to believe that. With a new day dawning. See this sun? I call this the death of God, but you can't kill God. See, there's a new day dawning right here and it's right there it's communication i know where the wheat is at it's, it's in the fields of the empress 
an ending of a very painful cycle. Wow, a ten of pentacles came out. <laughs> wow, ten. So this is a this is a completion of a cycle and a new cycle coming in here. You know, the tower crossed over by the four of wands. This is union, it's celebration. This is preparing for the big day. This is the big day. Ten of Pentacles, the quintessential universal dream, the the loving couple, you know, the wisdom of the years. There's the Hierophant right there. The babies, the bliss running in the yard, the doggies, loyalty. What an amazing word, huh? People got time just to sit and think about what they've done, how they've acted, all kinds of stuff going on right now that could be very beneficial. You know, it's the power couple, money in the bank. This person may have some business ideas. I mean, they are the emperor from what I can see right here. They may have earth in their chart too. It's all about a union. This is where these two are supposed to live, by the way. They're not supposed to live like this. But, I mean, it's normal. There's a lot of stuff to, for these two to clear out. These two have played with each other many lifetimes. Who knows what went on in those past lives, huh? There's a lot of karma that needs to be cleared. And how we do that is a lot of forgiveness. Not only forgiving them, but forgiving yourself. Not only for this lifetime, but for past lifetimes as well. If you want to clear this, if you would like Ten of Pentacles to come in here. If you would like to come out of Ten of Swords. Forgiveness. Because forgiveness isn't for them, it's for you. So you release all that pain and burden and bitterness from yourself. Here we go, man. It's a nice story. Eight of Pentacles. This is a nice card. It's an eight. It's about new beginnings. Taurus, this is nice, man. This is about uh, somebody coming in and working at it. Everybody working at it. Or at least it's up here in your hopes position. I'm hoping that this emperor right here is going to come in and work at it. Because, well, they're coming in with the with the... With the golden pinnacle in their hand. Hi, Taurus. I, I found this uh, uh, golden pinnacle, the cornerstone of the Ten of Pinnacles, you know, the quintessential universal dream. Right here is eight pinnacles. You know, that's our work card. It's in the hopes. That I hope they're going to come in and work at this right here. You know, because the Empress, she ain't getting up and chasing anybody or anything anymore. That ain't happening. Venus took the lead, and in this eternal runner-chaser game, Sacred Feminine's becoming what we would classify as the runner, if you ask me. They're not running all that fast, because they would certainly like Sacred Masculine to figure it out. Be they male or female, whatever's going on right here, huh? Desiring a new beginning with them to come in and actually work at it, and to be focused. And to pour that precious metal into the mold that both of them are making right here. Cool down, clean up, hang them up for everybody to see. This is what we are both working on. Is this union right here. Four of Wands. That's a nice story. Five of Swords came out as an outcome. I call that card victory at any cost and it's really what i see right here with uh, the old emperor energy that's on the spread you know the one that's coming in giving the offer of the golden coin because they want the ten of pentacles they want the power couple and uh but uh you know the ice queen right here and five of swords is about standing up and doing what's best for you not rushing into anything and i've seen this with a lot of these friends a lot of these unions are beginning to come together now for such a time as this is what these unions are about these are power couples these are light workers you know bring in love and light bring in love and light that's what these are about.
And um, I mean, a lot of us had our filters blowed off back in 2012, and there's a lot of people right now that are going to get their filters blowed off in 2020. Just saying. Looks like somebody got their filters blowed off right here. And this is about victory at any cost. Probably Taurus standing up and doing what's best for them. Not allowing them to just come in, you know, because they, they're going to have to show up with eight pentacles. They're going to have to show up and show that they're working on the relationship. This is them uh, stepping up, victory at any cost, because, well, the Empress probably put the Emperor out in timeout right there. And the Empress probably has, uh, you know, the sword raised up. Willing to listen and willing to communicate, but there needs to be some proof in the pudding right over here with the eight of pentacles. Bottom of the deck. I got three of wands, which is a card of waiting, using law of attraction to get your ships to dock up properly, you know, because these, these, those are his ships, but they can't just dock up any way they, they want to dock up, huh? Uh, port side of the ship needs to be towards the port and starboard side of the ship needs to be towards the stars. They can't just come in sideways. No, abort, abort. You can't come in that way. It's about putting all of your heart, soul, and strength into the situation. Wanting to see if they are. Um, it's also a very spiritual card about all of source. Your grandpa, your grandma, who's ever on the other side. Your ancestors, your angels, your higher self. All helping you to get your ships to dock up properly. I like it, man. Six of Cups. Sweet thoughts and nostalgia when times are good and things are sweet. This is a powerful spread around here for a Taurus. This is Soulmate Twin Flame. I love those readers to be like, why do you believe in all that Twin Flame crap? I'd be like, I, I'd be looking at them like, I can't believe that you're a tarot reader and you don't have any clue about what's going on. That just blows, but anyway. Back to this nice story right here. Taurus with love. Six of Cups. Soulmate. Twin flame. Life partner energy. Expecting them to show up right. Standing your ground if they don't. Willing to put them back in the timeout chair if they don't show up right. Making sure that the, you know, the little boy's coming in with some flowers for the little girl. Just saying. Past life lovers right here. Out, you know, outcome is the queen of love, agape love, crowning this entire spread. That's the empath. That's the light worker. Uh, that's uh, the, the one with psychic abilities, the healer. Could talk about, you know, a little bit of patience. About a past life relationship could end up in agape love, full of healing and light. It's a beautiful story right here about a union coming together that's supposed to be. Yeah, they want to come out. I see it right here up at the bottom of the deck. Six of swords. Somebody wants to come out of choppy waters. They learned a shitload of life lessons wherever they're at. They've been watching you, Taurus. It's my little rebel without a cause, my little knight or excuse me, princess of swords, our, our little spy. They've been watching you. There, there, there ain't no eagles flying around them. There's only seagulls flying around them wherever they're at. Rah, rah. They want to come out of that shit. They want to go over to Paradise Island, you know, where the Empress is at, where the wheat is at, where Ten of Pentacles is at. They be, they be watching everything going on. They know they need to come in with a solid offer. The Knight of Pentacles right here. Again, a solid offer. This is an upgrade. So they they may come in kind of, you know what I'm talking about, but Five of Swords is going to be like, you're going to have to show me a little bit more. I want it to go forward. I got victory here with uh, the Fool card, a fresh start, a new beginning, a leap of faith with the Chariot. The uh, the wild ponies, huh? The dark pony, the light pony, the yin yang story right here, because somebody was tuned in, tapped in, turned on to the divine, driving their chariot exactly where they wanted to go, not where the wild ponies wanted it to go, right here. 
So this is an outcome right here, a victory. But right now we're at five of swords, huh? Right now we're at five of swords. They need to show that the uh, love is in the love pudding. Tower, four of wands. Love team, let's play with the witch's tarot right here. What is the tower and four of wands about in the heartbeat of this Celtic cross for my Taurus? Well, I did get the temperance card, so that is, it's the patience card. It's also a reunion card. Shows Michael, the archangel right there with the two cups. It's a divine union card. And all of the divine trying to help these two put it together. Help both of these people get the ships to dock up properly. It's Sagittarius. It may mean something to you. It may not. My majors that I have on the board are Cancer, Aquarius, Aries. Of course, there's Taurus, Libra. May mean something to you. May not. Here we go. What is the emperor about at the base of the spread? Wow. Look at this right here. Major Arcana came out. Jumped halfway across the room. It's the magician. And they want to manifest a new beginning. As above, so below. The magician has all four aces. The ace of cups, the ace of pinnacles, the ace of swords, the ace of wands. The infinity symbol above their head. As above, so below. As within, so without. They want to manifest a new beginning with their empress. Queen of Swords, please. Wow, we got the Karma card came out. Mm -hmm. All that stuff that Mikey was talking about, forgiveness and all that. I mean, this, this person right here may have had to deal with some karma that didn't got nothing to do with you. Or vice versa. But this is about the clearing of karma. No, it wouldn't be surprising if the justice card comes out before long. It's 20. It's judgment. It's about second chances, third chances. It's about Phoenix from the ashes. It's about astrological alignments lining up. Empress, please. Why is it on this spread for Taurus? Thank you. Yeah, the lovers, the lovers right there. Gemini energy showed up in this spread. I like this lover's card because, well, there's only two and a beautiful angel up above them. Playing some serious kissy face right there. Mm -hmm. See, six of cups. This is a, this is an amazing story right here of love. Destined love, agape love, being manifest on this planet. And it's about the Empress making the choice. Thank you, Source, because the lover's card is about choices. It's your call. That's what judgment is about, too. Your judgment call. You know that, right? You're the Empress, right? Yeah, they need to show up with it. all eight pentacles. And let's just buck that up to ten pentacles. Huh? Here they come showing up with one pentacle right now. Princess of Pentacles, what's she here for? Well, see, they want victory. Look, man, you two are mirroring each other. It showed the chariot up here playing out with you. And it shows the chariot, again, the dark pony, the light pony, the yin-yang story. The victory. They want victory. They want to go forward. They want to go forward. They may be coming in real light because they're too cool. You know what I'm talking about? They're so cool. You know? Oh, hi, Taurus. Uh, <laughs> but inside, man, that fire been burning in their heart just, just as deeply as it burns in Sacred Feminine's heart. Sacred Feminine, do what's best for you. Ten of Swords. Here we go. Yeah, see? The completion of a very painful cycle. Um... 
Three of Pentacles talks about working on a foundation of something that's important to them with somebody else. That would be you who's ever viewing this right here. Because, you know, I, I put these together. I asked Source to put them together for first perspective. Who's ever looking at these bit, Taurus or not. But see, there's only one person right there in that. And and they're and they're burning the midnight oil. They're 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 making a pinnacle down there. This would tell me with ten of swords on this that they want a new day to dawn, but they know. They know they didn't treat you right, and they're they don't want to screw it up, man. They're planning on how to remove all these swords, and they're planning on how to get this new day to dawn. I mean, that's easy. I can tell them how. I've come in with eight pentacles, not one. <laughs> Ten of pentacles. Why is it Why is it on this spread? Here we go. Here we go. Ace of cups. Yeah, man. A new beginning of love coming in. Taurus, this is fucking amazing. A new beginning of love coming in. And, and, and this is about, you know, Ace of cups is about a direct connect with the divine. What you know is right here with Three of Wands. That's a direct connect with the Divine, too. About getting the ships to come in properly, you know. We need Source involved in this, whoever that is to you. Ace of Cups is about self-love and loving yourself first. And that, you know, that's what these are all about, you know. Once you fall head over heels in love with yourself, this Divine, they can't resist you. Ace of Cups is about love and all the possibilities there coming in. And Ace of Cups can be about unspoken love being spoken. Nice. Eight Pinnacles, please. Why is it on this spread for Taurus? Here we go. Eight Pinnacles. I love this spread, man. And Seven of Pinnacles came out. See? Right here. Ten of Swords, Three of Pinnacles. You want them to show up and show the work with eight pentacles because there probably was seven of cups. You know, and that can be just confusion. It can be somebody had a lot of options, you know, the old classic sacred masculine runner, a lot of options. But this has got an old wizard in this with the witch's tarot right there with his finger pointed, you know. Kind of like somebody figured out that Seven of Cups ain't all that it's added up to be. And they've learned the fact that what you own, owns you. But I got five of swords right here. Taurus would be like, I want to see the proof in the pudding right here. I want to see the proof in the pudding because if it ain't, I'm putting your ass right back in that timeout chair. Here we go. What's five of swords about here for Taurus? Two of swords came out. That's right there. The old land of indecision about what you're going to do. Protecting the heart. She has her she has her hands over her heart right there. You know, you can't sit there forever. The tower will come again. I want to throw something else out on this right here. It could say that, you know, Taurus has been working on themselves. You may have some options too. Oh. One more on this, please. One more on this. Just ain't going to jump into anything, are you? I agree. Good for you. And uh, Nine of Pentacles, that's because you got it going on. This is my independent, self-assured, confident business person right here, man. It's beautiful. Nine Pentacles. It's going to take a minute. They they, they want to come rushing in. Bum, 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 bum. Taurus, I figured it out. <laughs> I found the little pinnacle. Oh, oh, you have nine. Oh, you have nine. Shit, you have nine pinnacles. Um, well, Taurus, that would make ten pinnacles. Cause I figured out my heart go boom, diddy, boom, diddy, boom, boom, boom for you. But Taurus be like, well, one step at a time right here. You need to show me eight pinnacles first. You need to show me that you're going to work at this and that you're not going to be running off with seven of cups. Because to be honest with you, I got it going on. And I could have anybody that I want anymore. This is somebody that's single because they choose to be single, not because they have to be single. High vibration, empress. Right here, man. They got it going on. They use this energy properly. 
And of course, when you got them spying on you, they see that you have used this energy properly. It's a lot of things that have fallen apart. I mean, a lot of sacred masculine chased the almighty coin where a sacred feminine used law of attraction and attracted love and abundance to them. And the abundance comes first, generally, because there's no free will involved in that. But true love's going to follow behind that. Mm -hmm. Here it comes off the bottom of the deck. Yeah, it's a love story right here. The Ace of Pentacles, there it is. It's the one that continues to show up around here, the cornerstone of the Ten of Pentacles. It's been offered. The only problem with this is that it can take a hell of a long time for this to manifest, huh? But divine timing is coming. Seven of Pentacles. Uh, somebody thinks you're amazing, good looking, passionate, the queen of wands. They also know that you know your self-worth and that if you don't, if they don't show you how amazing that you are, that you will, that you will cut and run, man. You will leave them behind. They know that. Got my princess of cups showing up here. It's messages about love. Somebody's about to get hit in the head with a tsunami of love. Kaboom! Right there, man. Because the wheel of fortune is at hand right here. The wheel coming out of all these karmic cycles, spinning in an upward direction. Winner, winner, chicken dinner coming in here from my Taurus. Very nice. Very nice. But you're going to make them prove that the love's in the love pudding right here. A couple of cards from the Mystic Moon Oracle on the spread, love team. Look at mirroring. That's a nice card because it shows you that you're the one large and in charge. And as you do this work on the inside of you, you will see that it's doing the work on the inside of them. May have been a very long process with the, uh, where'd it go, man? My Ace of Pentacles. May have been a very long process, but this is the Sun, sun card, Minor Arcana for me. But you will see that as you love on yourself, head over heels in love with you, that uh, that's what you're going to attract to you. It's all law of attraction. Mirroring came up. More, please, for Taurus. Stuck. Somebody been stuck like Chuck in a truck, boy. Oh, broken down truck right over there. Whew, they coming out of being stuck. Oh, Chuck coming out of being stuck in that old broken truck. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. We got, oh, because you're highly admired. I told you they watch you. I told you that there's seagulls flying around in their world, not eagles. Bark, bark! Ain't no eagles flying around. Look at that, man. Butterflies floating around them. Highly admired. They are stuck like Chuck in a broken ass truck without you. They know that. They want to mirror you. They want to mirror you because you're nine of pentacles. Mm -hmm. One more. And the purging. The purging. The purging. The shadow work. The doing the inner work on the inside of themselves. And of course you have been as well. It's a two-way street here, is it not? And the metamorphosis. Look at this right here. The metamorphosis, the death cycle, death, birth, and resurrection. And a card about a devotion right here. Somebody realizing where devotion belongs. This is beautiful, man. It's because somebody is the muse, and they have painted the picture the way that they want it to be. My deliberate creator right here, my empress right there. Love it, man. Let's throw some love cards on top of this for Taurus. This is beautiful, Taurus. Manifest, my friend. Here we go. Love cards for Taurus. What do we got? Unrequited love. That means that one time somebody loved somebody more than the other one did. Generally, that's what that's about for me. But you, you, you change that with the Ace of Cups by loving on yourself more than that burning love that you have for that person right there. If they won't give you the love, you just take a double shot of that agape love yourself. Unrequited love. It's in the past. What we got here? Whoa, romantic feelings is what we got right here. 
Romantic feelings, somebody's feeling their feelings. Somebody's feeling their feelings are real and worth exploring. Ooh la la. One more for Taurus, please. Oh, of course you get this one, don't you, Taurus? Uh, worth waiting for. Hmm? Divine timing has been at work in your love life. We all knew that when that old Ace of Pentacles showed up. It can take a hell of a long time. But uh, this is definitely divine timing has come here. Uh, and uh, Ten of Pentacles is, is well on its way. I keep looking for it, man. I don't know where it is. <laughs> it's buried in there somewhere in this amazing story of true love. Wow. Wow, Taurus. Happy for you, man. Happy for you. You're going to stand your ground right here as we go into April. You know, we're all in our own little world right now. It's all good. And uh, they don't want to be all in their own little world no more. They want Taurus in their little world now. Because Taurus got a big world. Nine of Pentacles. Empress. Yeah. Hierophant come out as an overall right here. That's the Pope of the tarot deck, you know. It's about a divine union, bottom line. And uh, the Hermit came out right now, so there still may be a little time, you know. Still may be a little time, huh, Taurus? put this together but it is about astrological alignments coming together for you it has the potential to go all the way it says that you're not going to rush into it at all i'm happy for you taurus taurus went a little long but what an amazing love story i'm happy for you hope you enjoyed it i love you taurus namaste love and light talk to you soon taurus bye for now